Rob, so Virgil Ortiz uh, postpones his bout against Stanley Onis. Uh, seems like he got rhabdomyolysis again. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the second time in like, the last two fights. Yeah. Postponed both fights. Uh, how serious is this issue? Um, it, it, can, it can develop into very, very fatal issues because uh, what it is is basically your muscle starts to deteriorate and then it releases toxins and proteins that uh, get into the bloodstream and then passes, it goes through the kidneys, which is causes the, the malfunction of the kidneys. Well, it, it could be very, very fatal. So it, it comes from a series of things. Over uh, hyper extensive exercise, which means over exertion, um, you have uh, like fast weight drain. So you got guys that come into camp and they're very heavy, but that's not their norm. So what happens is, this is why the, this is scientifically proven that you need 35, you need to burn 3,500 calories in order to lose a pound of fat. So what happens is most people, they drink, there's a lot of fluids. So they eat a lot in between camps, but then they stop exercising. So when they stop exercising, what happens is, the body gets to a heavier mode. So then you get a date, and then now you're rushing to lose all the weight, which can cause very heavy trauma to the body. So then your, your, your kidneys are affected, your liver is affected, then you start uh, urinating this brown shit, or even sometimes it's dark orange with blood in it. You know what I'm saying? So it can come from dehydration. It can come from, you know, overtraining. Mm. It's so much series of things. And if this is the second time that Ortiz has already affected by this, it's time for you to go to 54. Stop playing with your fucking health and, and do it the right way. But also, uh, you got a lot of people don't take the time to read Vada and Wada. So uh, when you when you see the banned substance list, every substance gets broken down into compounds. This mm. is how it works. So let's just say you got a person who is very high educated on illegal substances. What happens is you get a compound. Let's just say Winstro or uh, Clenbutyl, mm. what Canelo was called, right? Or he ate Clemuel, right? So what happens is you find the components. All the compounds get broken down. So it's like four of this, four of this, eight of that, or two of this, whatever it is the compound is. And it creates this steroid. What a lot of people tend to do when they're at a high level, they tend to remove the compounds that causes the, 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 the substance that's banned. So they remove that something and they recreate the substance where it's easily passed through drug testing. So essentially, they just take one part of that out and then put something else in, and now it's legal. Correct. Okay. So it's kind of like CBD to the HTC with, oil, with, with weed. Gotcha. You got CBD that if you take CBD, you could pass a drug test. You may not drug, pass a drug test, right? Mm. But then you got other situations where they can remove and extract certain things from the compound where it makes it less effective but yet you suffer the same benefits. Now, uh, there are athletes that have no fucking idea what they're ingesting into their system. And whether they get a, they get some sort of benefit behind it or not, I don't know. But the, the fact is, the truth be told, there's a lot of things that gets ingested into their system and they have no fucking idea why they're using it because you have trainers, boxing and coaches that don't educate themselves in the health world. Because of a system that doesn't work and it's a lot of things that are modernized, you need to educate yourself on what is going into the system. So because people don't know and all they do is just listen to different things, they don't really take the time to say, okay, why does he feel drained? Why does this happen? Why does that happen? Instead of really going out and investing in your product. So what you do is you pay for the stupid shit and then you're ingesting it and then next thing you know, you find out that it's banned. 
another thing that's banned in Nevada and water listing is the uh, is cortisol, like cortisol shots. Oh shit! Sure. You can't have cortisol shots. And the funny thing is that's illegal in the other sports. Correct. Yeah. So know your shit, and this is what a lot of people's fucking problem is. You know, they 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 it's okay, especially if if it's like a. You know, if it's a new and upcoming product or anything like that. Bro, I remember when I used to work with some of the fighters. Every time they got a product, I said, let me see. I get it, and I break down every fucking ingredient on that thing. I don't want nothing in there that's going to tarnish my name whatsoever. Now, if there's something that I don't agree with, I will speak up. But if something tends to happen in the long run, I'm not going to keep my mouth shut about it either. You know what I mean? Um... I think for Ortiz's sake, it's best to move up to 54. And I think that even though he's just this fucking close to get that title shot, it's not worth your health, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, his dad seems like a cool dude. Um, a friend of mine, he's he, he knows them pretty well. So, you know, if they ever needed services where they wanted some help, I don't mind helping people out, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I enjoy doing this because I know my shit. But there are situations where people frown on this part of the job that I provide, which is strict and condition. Everything is just weight loss, weight loss, or power. No, this is all part of the plan. You got, if it, look what happened to uh, Michelle Rivera. He paid $10,000 for his team. Then got fined $10,000 because he got caught with some banned shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So at the end of the day, if these fighters are taking things to help them lose the weight, then you're doing something obviously fucking wrong. That's how I feel about it. Thank <laughs> you.